Welcome back to Fit for Golf Acres. Tonight we're going to do a couple different shots with a couple different clubs. And when I say a couple different clubs, I mean we're going to use some modern clubs and some ancient clubs. The ancient clubs will be from the 1960s. Our moderns will be from modern times. So we're going to have a 7-iron and a driver for the modern clubs and a 7-iron and a driver from the ancient times. Now let's get our usual metrics up here. We have our attack angle. We always want to see that in a negative. A club path for us lefties to the left, you righties to the right. And club face for us lefties, we want our club face to the right, and you righties, you want it to the left. And that's going to produce our stock shot, which is a draw. That's the shot that we like to generate almost every single time. It's very dependable. Um, we want our shot to start down our target line and curve in to the inside. And for us uh, lefties, I want that in a little curve to the right. Okay, so let's get our modern seven iron first shot. Do our eight movement patterns at fitforgolf.ca's Apply Product Golf. And there's our first shot. And that's gonna go pretty good down the target line. It's gonna come in for a nice little gentle drop in for the draw. Our attack angle to the negative, club pass to the left, club face to the right. Success! All right, let's get our modern driver going. And you know, the driver, in terms of attack angle, uh, you'll see uh, a majority of the contentious talks about hitting up or incendiary blow. In other words, we get a positive num number with our attack angle, and that's absolutely correct. It's absolutely fine. It's also okay to have that negative attack angle with your driver. And I, more times than not, will generate that because I feel I have better control with the shot. Uh, I feel it's a lot more powerful, um, but that's just me. Uh, as I said, there's an overwhelmingly a uh, large amount of golfers who like to have that hit up. So, but mind me if I do have my negative attack angle here. And there it is. I have an attack angle 3.1 to the negative there. And that's just me, I do that on a constant basis. My club path to the left, my club face to the right. Another successful shot using our eight movement patterns. So now we're gonna get ready to use our older clubs. But before we do that, we need to go back in time, go back in time, go back in time, go back in time. <laughs> Do -do 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 -do. Welcome back to our 1960 section. We got a blade in our hand, we got the eight movement patterns in our head connecting to our body, and we are going to try and generate our similar stats and similar straight shots. Here we go. And so I had a little open face and a little over top, and those stats combined in a, in a way that just push it to the left a little bit. We got the good attack angle. Let's try one more. And there we go. Got the perfect stats, perfect attack angle, and our little drop. And for our final shot, we have an old wood I call it wood because it is made of wood. That's what they were made of back then. Let's see if we can use our eight movement patterns, get our similar shot shape and good metrics. A lot of bounce on that one, but there it is. Perfect little draw, attack angle 2.2, club path left, club face right. This is what I'd like to see every night. Okay. So remember, the eight movement, pat movement patterns are going to give you that familiar shot shape. It's going to give you statistics that will be consistent. And when those two are working together, you're going to see lots of great shots. Thanks for joining us tonight at Fit Golfer on YouTube. And don't forget to check our website, fitgolf.ca, for more information on our programming. Please join us next time as we talk more and more about improving your game.